you find that you've got the ability to do things that you didn't think you were able to do. Oh, I had people coming up and saying they really enjoyed it. They got a good laugh. Um, you know, they come up and shook my hand and said it was a really good show and they've been asking me when the uh, next one was going to be and I said, look, we don't know, sometime in 2009. And, uh, and they said, yeah, well, they're going to come and see them again, you know. So in that way, uh, we got praised for, for the work we done. And, yeah, it came out really well. Intersection is a show. It's a show that moves. It starts off at Edward Eagle Lodge, through the back streets to Mission Australia Centre, then goes from Mission Australia Centre to Taylor Square, culminates at Taylor Square, and then everybody goes back to Edward Eagle Lodge for a big feed, big, you know, feast, which we always do at the end of milk crate shows. Bit of a celebration, everybody gets to eat together, audience and performers alike. All right, can I get everybody up and in circle? Everyone involved in intersections. The Milk Crate Theatre projects have always been um, an engagement with the community. And whereas they've probably been based more within the agencies, I guess we thought, look, there's public spaces around these agencies that are really vibrant zones where people interact, where people talk about what they do in Milk Crate Theatre. What if we actually took some of these workshops out onto the street or took some of the performances out on the street? So I guess the idea was, would it work in a context of a public space to take these quite interesting um, dynamic performances, but particularly with the homeless, marginalised and disadvantaged community, um, into Taylor Square, into St Margaret's Place, but still link them to the agencies at the same time? All right, today's an exciting day because today is our last rehearsal before the production week. So next week, Monday night, we've got a technical rehearsal where you do the whole show at night with sound and with lights. Tuesday night, we've got the dress rehearsal where you do it with sound and lights and costume. Wednesday night is audience. So the show is on Wednesday night and Thursday night is audience. I reckon 90, I reckon we've got to, we've got to save a bit for the shows. No, let's go 100% energy today and then we'll... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll crank it up to 110 on the show nights. Yes! Alright, so 100% energy today. Intersection is quite ambitious in the set for Milk Crate anyway, in the sense that it has lots of different groups involved. It's got the professional actors who are playing the lead roles. It's got a, a professional actor who's playing the narrator. Well, Astra and I conceptually, in terms of the homeless and disadvantaged participants, it works with three groups who we call the Edward Eager All-Stars, who are the guys that come to the Edward Eager Lodge workshops. It's got the Mission Australia Centre All-Stars, and they're also a group from the Michael Project who actually are part of Mission Australia, but out west, but they're getting bust in as well. And then we have the Sydney Street Choir, and the Sydney Street Choir act as the chorus. Blow the audience away. <laughs> it's what you want to do. <laughs> it makes you feel a lot better. It gives you encouragement to go out there in the world instead of hovering away and I'm only a third class citizen.
stuck up people in the queue tonight, isn't it? The way it works is it charts the story of two residents at Edward Eagle Lodge, James and Sally. I guess looks at all the intersections in their life that led up to the point of these two people intersecting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Intersection. 